Hey everyone, welcome back. Now, if you don't remember, there is some stuff that we need to do to the roof over there because I have some distastes and some discomforts. I will be voicing with that design and I know just how to fix it. But because of my current hunger levels and the near lack of food, it's time for the farm that was built 30 episodes ago to come into use. <sighs> Thankfully, 24 is divisible by 3, so I'll have 8 pieces of bread in total, which is nice. So let's go ahead and craft all that up and throw that in, get some bread. And then we're just gonna drop these seeds into the miscellaneous chest because why not? Very cool, very, very cool. So now all those will begin to grow and I'll have some nice usable bread as a constant source now. So the first thing that I need to do is actually probably craft another diamond pick. Because we are reaching a point where we're about to run out of, I'll just make some more sticks, of uh, durability for our diamond pick. So I should probably make a second one for backup purposes. Let's just throw that rolling brush in there for reasons. All right. Well, let's get started. So the first thing I wanna do real fast is to actually go and cut off this side piece over here and just sort of trim off all of these pieces. So this way it is clear. <sighs> Not the most exciting thing to watch, but it is relaxing with the rhythmic breaking of each piece. So the idea was actually to trim off these side pieces here as well as that top layer of wood. So before that all despawns, I'm going to run down there and harvest, harvest is a weird word for that, and collect all of the fallen pieces. So up first, we need to drop down one layer and collect all these guys over here. Then we're going to go and do some parkour around this edge and collect all the other ones that have fallen on the pillars. This way, no resources are lost at all. Then we're going to drop down and continue our collection. All right, very cool. Oh, and our grass is also making it pretty far. So we can trim out these layers here in this one. And again, focusing our push towards the other area over there. So, nice. Just a little secondary thing that's kind of been going on on the side there that I've been waiting for. And just to help, increase the chances of it spreading over here by adding these blocks. All right. Now let's try to break our diamond pick by clearing off a good portion of all of these stone slabs. I'm a little disappointed that I 
so hastily moved forward with an idea without first sort of uh, I mean so the problem is is that I knew that it wasn't a good idea like I had a mental note that I didn't like it but I still moved forward with it and it wasn't until after its completion that my discomfort with the design was a problem So I'm definitely keeping these wood beams though, but I'm going to be removing the wood trimmings on this side and having them just be pillars that go straight up. The pillars will actually divulge into the roof and form an attic. Or maybe not, maybe it'll just be a short stop and have top style um, locks, kind of like this, but over like, you know, a couple locks. So we'll play with that this episode and try to get this house finished. So be prepared to sit in for quite the adventure that we have coming up. Uh. It's a pretty nice tapping. Kind of. It's kind of like a mix, I guess. It's like a more of a thud. There we go. All right. Part two. And thankfully, we actually have those um, trimmings to kind of have as like walking spaces. I don't know what I'm going to do about the. Hmm, I don't know. the trimmings now that I'm actually removing the I'm basically reverting all the work I did last episode that sucks you know what that's fine so today was or I guess not today um yesterday was my second day of philosophy 102 and I'm not sure if I discussed this or not in any of my episodes, but basically the professor is kind of on the odd end. He's got that really weird British humor to him. And the issue with that is um, like no one really understands the humor and whatnot in the first day of class. He had us all watching the Big Bang Theory and taking notes on the hilarity of Sheldon Cooper's action. So as you can all imagine, the class was quite invigorating and informative. I say that with the utmost sarcasm, of course. Um... So, in this new class, uh, the second class that we had with him, um, things got a little odd for several reasons, and I, I think my one of these stupid little freaks are out. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have that go one more layer. We're going to play with it there and see how that looks. So, continuing on. Um, today, like, I, I keep saying today, but it wasn't today. It was Monday. So, shoot, I guess for you guys, this is going to be uploaded on thurs Thursday. Today's Tuesday. <laughs> I'm, like, trying to do the thing again where I, like, tell a story and try to, like, work on this. And it's not working out. I'll go fast. So, um, Monday was better. Instead of watching the Big Bang Theory, we actually watched The Office. 
and it was the episode where they have the ethics board and they talk about what's ethical from a business standpoint. So, and that's the episode where they find out that Meredith is um, sleeping with one of the clients for discounts. Actually, yeah, I think we'll go with the Gaby loop, but I have the secondary portion where it swoops in. So we'll play with that and see how the end result looks. If not, I can always just trim the outside. But, so that was the episode where they find out that Meredith was sleeping with one of the clients. And it's the same episode where, um, <laughs> Dwight, cl Dwight claims that he, um, doesn't waste any work hours. And then Jim begins timing him and saying that he does. He managed to get Dwight working nonstop for like eight hours. And to the point where he was even like, you know, using a, a soda bottle for his bathroom breaks. So that was pretty, pretty funny. Just seeing all that unfold. But... Anyways, so the whole point of watching that in philosophy was to see the ethics behind it and um, view whether or not what Meredith was doing was ethical or not, which is such a loaded statement, I think, just in general. I don't know. How come this one's merging and this one's not? You know what? I don't care. Actually, yeah, I do care. Oh, it's probably because we need a second one. Ugh. Is there no way to like continue this? There we go. Ah, darn. So, anyways, to watch this episode, we had to we had to use this girl's Netflix account. And he didn't log out of her account, but he like made this whole like display, like, oh, I logged out your account, see, so I can't use it anymore. But when I was talking to her, I noticed that he was browsing through the shows and looking at all the stuff he could potentially be watching with Netflix. And he said that he had logged out. He's like, oh yeah, I did this and this and this and that, but he never even like did the sign out thing. Um, it'll be interesting to see the results of that, whether or not he actually did, and if there's like a complaint filed or not, but, you know, alongside that there, um, he was also very non-discreetly flirting with this poor girl, and this is like, you know, probably a mid-60s guy, um, who was you know, doing this and flirting and whatnot. And it was just really uncomfortable. And I'm trying not to be like, you know, rude or anything like that. But I mean, I, I just kind of point out it was kind of uncomfortable to see that all take place and go down. So I'm out of coal in this one. Oh no, I might need to go mining pretty soon. That's not good. So it looks like that next episode, the episode after that, we're gonna have to go cave dwelling. Do I like the way that's looking? Oops. Let's finish. Let's get it finished first, and then we'll decide. He is totally over dramatizing my keyboard strokes to make more clickety clackety noises. All right, I need to get a crafting table up here, um, just to avoid trips. 
Let's uh, just drop one in right there for now. Shippity shoppy, I put merchandise in my pocket again. Um, there we go. That was terrible. Terribly done. But you know what? I couldn't care less. Actually, yes, I could. Okay. Um, now comes the exterior appearance where we make it seem like that this is actually uh, swooping upward. Um, we're getting more dirt, so we'll do that. And then do this. And then we're going to drop in a cobblestone stair right there. Um, so we have to continue the pattern here. Um, there we go. <sighs> I've also come down to the conclusion that a lot of uh, college professors don't actually care about the students they're more in for it for the paycheck so that's pretty cool i guess i don't know i can't wait to get into the major specialized classes so that way it's more of a connection with the teachers and uh, this is different for me because i'm used to a environment where the students know the teachers personally so i'm like for example i had the same math teacher um, for three out of four of the years of my uh, high school. So, that probably sounds bizarre to some of you guys, but, you know, I, mean, those, I, I can't, I come from a, a charter school, so. Ugh. I got some stories about that place, man. Um, <laughs> so, we are, we're all, we're all jerks to each other. Um, granted, some were more malicious than the others, and we're doing it intentionally. Others, not so much. But anyways, we had these twins um, that both got enrolled into the school. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll call them the... Um, shoot. We'll, we'll just call them the Animate Boys, I guess. No, that's not okay. That's not okay. There's a reason why I came up with that one. We'll just call them the, uh, uh shoot, I'm terrible at names, uh, for them. We'll just call them the Twins. You know what? Screw it. I'm not going to think of clever names. Anyways, uh, these two, um, would actually do the Naruto run, um, during PE and whatnot gym class that was pretty pretty interesting when that first happened we all had to like do double takes because you never you never really expect that to happen like ever so they did that um they actually oh i have more steam still up there cool um i actually ended up working with one of them one of them got um, an internship with me, which later turned into my job, but they didn't get hired on because reasons. But anyways, <laughs> they um they were quite the interesting bunch. So because we're all jerks to each other and whatnot, um, and because the, the twins. Uh, so, because the twins are um, very interesting and sort of their own kind of thing, it took us a long time to get used to them. And <laughs> senior year came around, and we had this brand new teacher, and we. 
we broke that poor woman. I think that we pretty much ruined teaching for her in an entirety just because of how terrible we were as students. Um, we were a part of the, uh, we were the kind of students that would go, I want to kill myself and stuff like that. Just the super edgy, depressing humor. And it got to the point where the teachers didn't even care. Some of them even laughed at it. Um, one of my buddies, uh, who actually went on to make, um, dubstep music, <laughs> he dropped out of high school to make dubstep music. I wonder how he's doing. Um, come 7 a.m., 7.30 a.m., class about to start, we're all getting ready, and he just, door swings open and screams, I want to hang myself. Teacher just laughs, doesn't even take it seriously, he doesn't get sent to the counselor's office or any of that stuff, sits down smiling, and yeah, that was, um, the teachers got really good at telling who actually was depressed and who was not. So, we kind of just tested their ability to properly do that, I suppose, but whatever. I ain't never, I never did that, so I'm in the okay group, but I still laughed at it, so that makes it not okay. Anyways, so we would have really bad, oh wow, that grew fast. So we had that sort of humor lurking around our class, and this poor new teacher who was teaching economics um, was brand new and replacing... Um, shoot, and was uh, replacing one of the teachers who left last semester due to one of her, um, just, just due to, due to the stress, and she just felt disconnected with everything, and her, uh, son was kind of embarrassing her out of her job, and it was just a really unfortunate situation, but... <laughs> so we're in we're in um econ and we're like talking to this poor this poor teacher and we're trying to like you know be all supportive to her and whatnot but the other class because we split our, our our grade of 32 kids into two courses she told us like yeah i've learned to take i've learned not to take what you guys say seriously when they told me one of the twins had a bomb in their backpack and <laughs> I know that sounds terrible, but it, it got to that point where we um we were just such terrible students, like all across the board, that this this happy-go-lucky um you know instructor who you know is who's a uh, new new to our state and um. You know, isn't really too familiar. She's coming from like a, you know, like a more like rich family, and she just kind of want to settle down and have like a normal job for once. Um, keep in mind that this this lady used to this, this instructor lady, you know, whatever. Um, her and I actually really uh, had a lot of a lot of fun conversations because she used to import her BMWs from Germany. So with me being a huge BMW fanatic, we uh, we were able to have a lot of conversations about that. Um, she actually ran the uh, Nurburgring. I think that's how you pronounce it. So that was really cool to hear her story about that and how um, she got into a race with a a 911 when she was uh, trying to pick out her um, XM5. So yeah, really cool teacher. Um, I was able to talk to, talk with, about a lot of stuff with her and whatnot. And uh, um, yeah, so she did not deserve. Um, the complete nonsense that our class put her through. Uh, but I should I should say that um, she actually did come to like really like teaching our class. Surprisingly, um, I think that's I don't, I don't really know why. Um, I th I would have thought that after everything, we would have um completely destroyed uh her um her sense of trust and sense of actually wanting to work at our school 
from how terrible we were as students because our my graduating class we were awful all right um we were we were not good students at all um we created a discord to basically post assignments and um not do them so i'm pretty sure almost every class is doing that but still everyone in the class was there doing that and so <laughs> oh boy um some real academic dishonesty is coming out right now but yeah it was interesting to say the least so with all that said and all of that stuff she was one of the ones who stayed we also had another teacher that year the electronics teacher we got him to quit. Well, I wasn't in his class, but um, I do know someone who was. She's actually one of my closer friends. Um, she's like this... Um, she knows about my videos, and I don't want to say anything about it in case she like comes upon this, but she's a delinquent asexual. <laughs> so, I'm going to get punched in the arm for that one. But, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. But because this teacher was a very conservative, um, came from like a very conservative background, he was not really a fan of her and would oftentimes censor or silence what she was saying if she was like talking about going out with, um, you know, her, her girlfriend at the time or anything like that. He would, um, sil like, you know, say, hey, no talk about relationships. Whenever one of our other friends would talk about their girlfriend uh, he would let it slide so he was actively censoring her he was kind of just being in general um, very um, I don't know I have to ask her about this and uh, kind of get a better uh, view and perspective of the whole thing but from what I could tell he, he just wasn't um, very good for for just kind of teaching that class because he was wasn't really following the teacher conduct code and keeping himself unbiased and all that stuff so um i don't know i'm kind of like getting into a really weird point here where i'm talking about a lot of stuff that i really shouldn't be but i really want to because it's actually entertaining to me anyways you know unless of course um, this video is watched, and uh, I get a big old punch in the arm, so, oh boy, but yeah, whatever, um, I like that, I'm kind of digging that, um, she actually took me into a Spencer's once when she was trying to pick out, um, shirts for her girlfriend, and I had no idea what Spencer's was, and I walked into the back, and, uh, immediately walked back to the front. So if you ever if you know what a Spencer's is, um, you'll you'll know what happened. That was a mistake on my part. So, <laughs> um, ugh, I have a lot of high school stuff I could talk about with just how much of a stupid drama that happened. Um, oh boy. Yeah, there's a lot of drama I could talk about. A lot of drama. Uh, but I'm going to, because why not? Anyways, um... So, back to the teacher that we made quit. Uh, it got to the point where the students started just walking out of the classroom and sort of like protest. And keep in mind, we had a graduating class of 30. 30, 32, I think. Um, there were not a lot of students for eight of them to walk out of the class during electronics. It was pretty, um, pretty big, pretty big deal. So I was in the programming, um, course. So I was more in, I was with the programming teacher and they were with the electronics teacher. So it was like, you know, a separate of, uh, classes and whatever. School was really weird there. Anyways. Uh, 
Wow, I, this is a, a really off-tangent episode. I'm not sure how I'm going to like pull all that again. That is much better. That is much better. I don't know if I like that low hang part over there, though. I need to add some detail to it. I'll probably do that next episode. But... Long story short, to basically put our entire high, my entire high school thing into perspective, um, never went to a prom, never did any of that stuff, never had the traditional high school thing. Um, instead, we had land parties with the entire class. Um, we had League of Legends tournaments with our class. <laughs> that was regrettable. Um, uh, we did StarCraft. We did... Oh, boy. Um, because our, our school, my, my school only had one hallway, I'm not even kidding, the lunchroom was also the, mer the multi-purpose room where we'd have assemblies and whatnot. So there was this huge projector installed. It was a, I think it was either an 8K or a 4K projector. No, no, it was really big. And it had, like, the, the algorithm to smooth out, um, to do, like, the smoothing on the... Um, things you're watching so that way even if it wasn't 4k it would look for it would look you know clean and crisp so we had that in there and we hooked up a um a wii u and we did sm like smash brothers like we, we, we did a smash tournament with the entire class which thankfully we had 32 students so all 32 of us got to play granted a lot were better than most so so it's somewhere better than most. So, you know, it was pretty obvious it was going to win. Um, <sighs> that is much better. I, I like that a lot more than what was previously going on. I need to, I'm probably going to end up trimming that bottom portion out though. Maybe, I don't know. Or the side portion, how it's that way to drop off. And then I'll put torches in the back or something like that. Yeah, I'll do that. That sounds cool. So... Do I have fences? Yes, I do. Um, geez. Oh, the twins. Oh, the twins. They had explosive personalities and anger management issues, too. Um... I always try to be their friend because they were tormented by our uh, graduating class. So when we were working with one of them, that was a very interesting, um, very interesting time, I must say. Because um, for an example, when we all had like our work wall, like we all worked, like the four of us, we worked in the same room. So... You know, it was the, the intern corner, basically, where all the interns were. I got later hired on and became a full, you know, an employee and whatever. I got put onto a government project for a little bit. That was cool. Now I'm working on a different project, which um, is used by some, uh, some of the local companies and whatever to do. I actually can't even say what it is because then you guys might be able to find it. So I can't even talk about it. Yeah, but I like this a lot more because the the government stuff is so stressful. Oh, gosh. Because they, they don't have any concept of programming or development. So they'll ask for ridiculous deadlines that are, like, impossible. And um, I, actually, I actually remember um, very, very firmly and horrendously that there was once a time where I had to work on the where they, they assigned us they, well, I wasn't assigned but I was working on a reporting feature which would take a bunch of data and put into an Excel spreadsheet and also display on the web page the way that um, web service was built was disgusting um, for those of you who don't know about computer science um 
the best way I can explain it is um, instead of making a wall socket that okay so to put it in simple terms the way it was designed is instead of like so we're gonna use wall sockets as an example here instead of making a wall charger that you can swap out the um, the the plug-in end for different countries that way it's compatible instead it comes with a kit to take apart the wall socket and convert it that's the best way I can explain the web app, the web service um, it uh, I can't even like from a programming standpoint I legitimately cannot put it into proper words because of just how poorly it was designed by my you know even the the senior members of the office will oftentimes use the application as a what not to do for software development and it's not like we can just go back and rewrite it because um we have about twenty five thousand lines of legacy code that we would have to rewrite and just it's not not good um that was super stressful working on that project um i i had to basically relearn um c sharp after i i finished that project just because of how how bad it was um because it it, it felt like that they tried using um java programming tactics um, in C sharp, it, it was so bizarre. I can't even like explain it, but that was thankfully almost four months ago that I worked on that. And now I'm working on something else, which I can actually, you know, get behind and program properly on. And I feel confident in my code. It's clean. It's nice. It's not horrendous and disgusting. And, ugh. Oh, I was talking about the, 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 the twin. Um, yeah, well, we worked with them. Um, he wasn't hired on. One of them ended up quitting and working at a Euro Shack for half the pay. So I don't know why he did that. He was really good at programming too. So that was just a weird thing, I think, but whatever. Anyways, um So we all had like our wallpapers or whatever. Uh the one who ended up at the Euro Shack um, was quite literally a meme god. And I say that as purposely cringy. Um, he took pictures of him and then edited them in Microsoft Paint, like giving himself like Dragon Ball Z, um, like power lines and stuff like that, with like big like writing that's like, it's me. And he drew like a bunch of JoJo symbols on his, um, like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, on the pictures. And like he had three wallpapers one for each monitor that we had um, for our office. And <laughs> just so bizarre, but just great. Um, I, I, of course, me being me, um, for the first portion, I actually had meme wallpapers too. Um, one of them was like, oh boy, I gotta remember all of them here. Actually, I won't, but as an example, it was, it was stuff like, uh, like the the Pepe wallpaper, it's like you will never have a good wallpaper. Or it was a, I think that was the main screensaver, which that later turned into BMWs, of course, because why wouldn't it? I have an obsession after all. Oh no. But yeah. Uh, so his wallpaper were slash was um fire emblem the 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 ones with the scantily clad woman so those were his workplace environment wallpapers so that was interesting our boss did not know how to quite comprehend that um Yeah, I'm totally digging that. I gotta fill that part in, then we'll get a exterior screenshot of that, just in case if I don't get it during a good time, we're gonna do that. So, 
that's real fast go i'm just gonna put some a placeholder bark here just so that way it looks like it's completed we're gonna do just a little thing like this right there and then we're gonna do here we're gonna have to break these two here and then do this and then that and then this and that and then that should look pretty presentable for the thumbnail it's gotta love my thumbnails I actually really like that, surprisingly. Um, one. one more down. Two more down. There we go. Perfect. Pop. I really like that. That is a much better roof design, I think. All right. Well, hey, um, I'm sorry for doing the rambles and the stories and whatever. Um, those probably weren't as entertaining as I thought they would be, but let me know if you want to hear more of my nonsensical crappy stories. Um, oh, I forgot to do the, the trimmings on those ones on that side there. Oh, well, can I do on the other side? Shoot. I almost think it looks better without the trimmings. So I might remove them on that side, actually. Yeah, we're going to do that. All right. Well, hey, if you enjoyed this video, let me know. Um, <laughs> hopefully, y'all uh, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't quite yet. Um, and just as a reminder, I'm no longer uploading on weekends. So, But until next time, thank you all for watching and have a fantastic day.